completely. First off, I made this hat myself. If you want to buy it, it's in my shop. Lately, oh, well, not lately. I got an ask on Tumblr last week that was, what do you like least about like this generation or the internet world? And this, this is going to be a rant video because I know how you all love my rant video so much. So stop. This is this for Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, just anywhere. I don't think it's that big on Facebook. No, it is, it is kind of big on Facebook. Stop glorifying eating disorders and self-harm. There is nothing attractive about a mental illness. For one, if you don't have it, why would you pretend that you did or why would you want to? Coming from somebody who has multiple things all bound up in, in my cranium, you don't want any of it. You don't want a mental illness or mental disorder of any kind. So why would you pretend to have one? If you want the attention, I'm sure that plenty of people will give you attention without pretending that you have one. Um, it's not nice to do that because people actually living with mental illnesses or disorders, like any disorder or depression or something, it's not fun. Anyone watching this who's had it, has it, knows what I'm talking about. There's nothing fun about waking up in the morning and wishing that you were dead. Um, there's nothing fun about isolating yourself so bad that you don't leave your house ever. And having so much anxiety to even get in your car and go to work. A place that you've been a million times. Or there's this one place where I've been for months now. This is the place where I go for IOP or an intensive outpatient, where I was going for treatment. I'm kind of sort of done with that, I think, kind of. I don't know. But I've been going there for months now, like four months, I think. I get terrible anxiety before I go there still. I get terrible anxiety before I go to work. I get in terrible anxiety while I'm at work. If I'm sitting in my room watching anime or doing nothing, I get terrible anxiety then, and I will have panic attacks for no reason. You don't want that. Um, I don't know why you would pretend you want that. There's nothing attractive about starving yourself and being a skeleton. I know that firsthand. You will hate yourself at 80 pounds as much as you hate yourself at 160 pounds. I know that from firsthand. And you will hate yourself if you weigh somewhere in the middle. So I don't, I don't know why you would, why people would do that. And also I don't know why people make fun of people with mental disorders or mental illness. It's, it's not something to be made fun of. Um, there's somebody outside. Really? I really can't stand people. I really can't. I never stop the camera. Okay. There is nothing attractive or fun about it at all. I lost my train of thought. Um, if you are somebody who picks on, if you're a bully, well, first off, I'm going to tell you not to be a bully. Second off, what are you getting from being a bully? Third off, what are you getting from making fun of a mental illness? Something that somebody cannot control. If somebody picks out a really fugly outfit one day, yeah, sure. You may hate my lipstick. That's a decision I made. Go ahead and make fun of it. But don't make fun of the fact that I am terrified of most foods because I can't control that. Don't make fun of the fact that when I get into really big stores, I have anxiety attacks because I can't control that either. Or the fact, any, any of those facts, just don't make fun of them. And if somebody is recovering from these, don't make fun of them then either because they're not funny. If you had to live that life, think about it. Let's, let's think about this for a minute. If you don't have any of these disorders, depression, anxiety, an eating disorder, what have you. Let's say you're normal. Well, as close to normal as you can be. Think, or even if you're, you get not happy sometimes. When things don't go your way, you get angry and not happy. That is human nature. That happens to everyone. But when things don't go your way, or when people get angry at you, if you implode on yourself very violently, and hurt yourself because of it. Think about that. Think about instead of taking your anger out on other people, or if you do that, or, or if you exercise, if you get all your frustration out while exercising, 
whatever you do, how you deal with when you get angry about anything or when anything doesn't go your way. Imagine that anger you put out towards anything else, but it put it on yourself. And no matter what goes wrong, it's always your fault. That's what it feels like most of the time. Um, I do self-implode on myself a lot. Um, I don't mean to. That's just the way I deal with things. Like, a couple weeks ago, or last week, my mom changed my doctor's appointment to, from like, one week away to the next day. And it was nothing big, it was just the change of a doctor's appointment, but I completely self-imploded on myself. And I end up hurting myself in multiple ways, and it's not fun. The only, because I also, if anyone doesn't know, I also suffer from depression. The only way, and I saw this on Tumblr, which is why it gave me the great idea, the, the perfect way to describe it is there is something inside your skin clawing to get out, and you will do anything to get it out. And there's no relief for it, or there's temporary relief for it. It's constantly being in pain that you can't really control, or you'll put yourself in more pain just to feel something because you're so numb from the pain you already feel. And now, I don't have... I, I, I don't remember. I'm never really happy. I'm never happy. The closest I can be to happy is okay. Or alright. So, because I'm... I am sad all the time. For no reason. No reason in particular. I have no reason to be sad. I have a great life. I have people around me that love me and care about me. I have everything I could ever want. So, I... There's, there's no reason for me to be sad. Or do these things to myself. There's no reason. That's because it's a mental illness and that's a lot, that's what a lot of people don't understand. And that is why people make fun of it and with depression they think just snap out of it. Just go out and do something and have fun. Get friends. It's not easy. There is a reason why I have very very few friends. It's because I am terrified of people and I have bad anxiety and I overthink things way too much and then I will come home and I will sit in my room and I will think about these things over and over again and then it gets me deeper and deeper into a place where it's like the best way I would describe it is to rather be dead than to deal with that. So the next time that you go to reblog something about some girl with an eating disorder. The next time you go to make fun of somebody who's struggling with anxiety. The next time you reblog a picture of somebody who cuts. Think about that. Think about how much pain someone must be in to do that to themselves. Because that's just desperation. And that's just trying to get by the best way possible without harming anyone else. So self-implosion. Don't do it. Don't get into it. If you've never had any of these problems, you're one of the lucky ones. Um, if you do have these problems, I feel you. I'm there with you. Um, it's not fun. Mm. I guess that's the end of this video. Sorry I was so disappointed or depressing today. I'm a very morbid person. The other day at work, me and Katie, the girl I work with, she's awesome. But it was Black Friday night. And we were, we have a, a hot topic. We have these giant like red tube things across the top of the ceiling. We were like dibsing which ones we were going to hang ourselves from. Because like... Okay, this, this is really morbid and really bad, but I find it really funny because I find humor in it for some odd reason. Um, we have lights hanging off the ceiling also. And she's like, I'm going to hang myself from that light. And I'm like, I wouldn't hang myself from that light because then my feet would hit the screen. So I picked the red pole above it. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm a really morbid person. Don't, don't talk to me if, you, if you're happy because it's... It's bad. bad. Also, last point. People who pretend to have any of these disorders or whatever, 
Um, don't do it. Stop fishing for attention. You're attractive. Yeah, I will tell you. Come to me. I will be like, yeah, you're hot. Cool. I don't care if you're male or female. I will give you the attention you want so you don't have to pretend to have a disorder or an illness of any sort, mental-wise. Because a lot of people do that. A lot of people pretend that they're like, oh, I'm so depressed. You're not depressed. You are sad. There is a big difference. Just like there is a big difference between being alive and living, or listening and hearing. There's a big difference that a lot of people don't understand. But the point of this video was to stop glorifying it. Um, stop putting, like, Thinspiration tags and pro-Anna on things. Because there's these websites that kids go to and they allow, they're like, yeah, I ate nothing today, help every or i've seen pictures that's like every like on this is an hour not eating i don't understand because i didn't choose to have an eating disorder i would have never wanted this on myself because what it did to me and my family and everyone around me and what i've had to come from through that it's it's miserable why would you ever want to do that to yourself the best way to put it for eating disorders is, if you had a puppy, would you starve your puppy? No, because I love my puppy. So why do you starve yourself? Well, I hate myself, so. That's, <laughs> that's not why, but. Just think about that. Now I'm going to go, after being morbid and ruining your whole day. I'm sorry, guys. Don't watch this if you're happy. It's a good thing I say that at the end of the video. I love you all.